One day we may reach human immortality. One day we may create our mind copy and upload it on cloud, or transfer it to another humanoid or robot. First, we need to create whole brain map, and then make digital copy of it. The digital copy of brain may have long-term memory, thinking capabilities, and self. According current neuroscientific knowledge, our mind is information processing between neuronal network. It means our memory thinking capabilities and consciousness governed by purely physical processes. And it can be explained by classical physical laws. And if it's true, there is real chances. One day we can copy and upload our mind. It means one day computers will reach consciousness. But technically it is too difficult and requires lots of effort, invested time and resources. To copy human brain, huge amount of computing power is needed due to the large number of neurons in the human brain. We have 86 billion neurons in the brain. And each neuron has complex structure in some with trillions of functional molecules. This molecules acts as small computers. It means too difficult to scan, map and copy such complex functional structure. A full brain map has been estimated to occupy less than 20,000 terabytes. One method of mind uploading is serial sectioning, which means brain is frozen and then scanned and analyzed layer by layer then make copy according to scanned information. Main problem here is, it is unknown if it is possible to replicate neuron function from its visible structure alone. Because function of brain tissue is partially determined by molecular events. Solution to this problem is, to use sophisticated immunohistochemistry staining methods, then could be read via confocal laser scanning microscopy. It means to paint each biochemical event to make it visible for scanning. But we don't know physiological genesis of mind, so we don't know also if this method will be able to access all biochemical information in the brain, to scan and then recreate it. According to some to neuroscientist, mind uploading is too complex, and it may be too difficult to capture whole brain with its all activity. To accomplish these tasks maybe we are hundreds of years away. But chances still exist. Another difficulty, what if, human mind doesn't functioning as classical computer, but it has quantum nature? Numerous scientists believe, consciousness may be the result of some form of quantum computation. If our brain works as quantum computer, then its uploading will be much difficult or impossible at all. Even if we can upload our brain, Will it be me? Or it will be just illusion, just copy? According to our knowledge of physics, one subject can exist in two different places at the same time. And if we have our brain, and we have copy of it, it means we have only illusion of us, not real us. Because only I have self, and if I have self, myself cannot be elsewhere out of me. Then my uploaded mind is only copy, only illusion of me. And why it's so important to upload our brain, if nature already found much effective way of kind of immortality. And it is called reproduction. And a final question. But, what if one day we can replace our brain by digital brain, neuron by neuron? If each our neuron will be replaced gradually and consecutively by digital neuron, where will be the red line when we will lost self? And we will become copy of ourselves? which single neuron is defining us as self, and if replace our every neuron with digital neurons without losing self then, we can say that we reach true immortality.